Donald Trump is expected to choose his nominee for vice president in the next few days. I don't know who that nominee will be, but I read in a few places that the shortlist has three people on it. Senators Marco Rubio and J.D. Vance and Governor Doug Burgum of North Dakota. All three of these candidates have a couple things in common. Really one major thing in common. They were all at one point critics of Donald Trump. They all understood who he was and the threat he represented. And they all decided to embrace him. To put it in Orwellian terms, ultimately, they all decided to love Big Brother. This tells us a couple things. First, it is yet another unneeded reminder of how deeply the MAGA fascist movement runs in the Republican Party. We can momentarily talk about Nikki Haley, who basically went back to that MAGA fascist movement pretty quickly, and the occasional Mitt Romneys and Chris Christie's. But at the end of the day, the party is dominated by the MAGA fascist movement. It also tells us something about Donald Trump, that for him, the important thing is not loyalty. The important thing is that he breaks you and makes you loyal. And that's the kind of person that Donald Trump is. That comes from being the leader of a criminal family for, for many years. And that is yet another reminder, regardless of which one of these people he chooses, why, while even if Joe Biden can't string together three sentences, if he remains on the ticket, he is an infinitely better choice than Donald Trump. And indeed, the future of American democracy will depend on reelecting Joe Biden or whoever the Democratic nominee is.